you know about the rocket but the uh, the director of the rocket is a very gifted teacher and artist and that person is Bridget Lyons Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! and Bridget has taken her mobile literacy lab to every corner in this community and shared lessons with and has children involved and so um, not only that but last year she drove that bus to Colorado. <laughs> and so she did literacy lessons all the way from Colorado back to Florida. And now she's just back from Philadelphia. And she took literacy lessons from Philadelphia all the way back to Florida. You know, this reminds me of Ralph Smith, who's the director of the grade level for the national grade level for reading. And he's always telling us literacy is not a spectator sport. You gotta get off the bleachers and onto the playing field. Well, so we've not only got off the bleachers over these years, but we've taken it on the road. And uh, Indian River County is known nationally for many, many of the things that we're doing here. Ron Fairchild has a, and it, you happen to have it, he has a quote about the Moonshot Rocket. And I thought it was so good. I just want to read it. Who is Ron Fairchild? Ron Fairchild is the director <laughs> of the support center for the national grade level reading. And he has visited us. He was here last week or last year for one of our summits that we had. But this is what he said about the Moonshot Rocket. While I understood the value of the Moonshot Rocket as a communications tool when I first heard about it, I did not fully appreciate how powerful it was as a vehicle for creating arts integrated literacy experiences until I witnessed it firsthand. It engages people authentically and provides opportunity for people to share how their individual stories connect and how our own life experiences 
can help fuel a collective effort to create more hopeful futures for our children. And you know what? That's what the Moonshot Movement is about. It's a collective effort to create more hopeful futures for our children. We strive, we strive to get children ready for kindergarten. We strive to have them reading on grade level by third grade. Our playing field looks like kindergarten readiness. Think about what happens to a child from birth to five years old when they enter kindergarten. One of the most important things that happens to the brain in that very short period of time, they're part of the moonshot moment. In school, schools can't do it alone. We've known that. I've known that. Schools cannot do it alone. So we have a community that supports them by helping support teachers, by helping support classrooms, by creating, we want them to be able to create creative, engaging classrooms where all children can learn. Extended learning. There are many children, maybe your own, that need extra time. You know, a lot of children, a lot of adults need extra time to learn things. So how as a community we help support the schools by providing extra learning time for children who need that? And then, of course, community engagement. That is integrated and critical to all the areas that we talk about. We have gathered together, and Judy Miller's going to talk about it, but we have something called the Moonshot Community Action Network that she's going to talk about. And it's wonderful because we brought the players together to be able to collaborate, to learn from each other, and to accelerate progress in their area. I believe that the impact of the Moonshot moment has survived and blossomed all these years because we deeply understand that the youngest in the community need our voice and they need our action. So I'm challenging you today to expand our reach. How can we expand our reach so that the importance of early literacy permeates the culture of every home, every business, every classroom, and every organization? If we join forces and we collaborate we elaborate and we advocate, we can make the greatest difference. And I'm here to tell you that our children need your voice. So thank you for being here today. Well, thank you.